Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. How adorable is that? Two little ladybirds climbing up a brick wall. Just so much fun. I couldn't resist. I was looking through my paper packs and thinking, what's going to inspire me? And I saw the brick wall and I thought, oh, I'd love, you know, what can I do with the brick wall? Then I thought, I know, I can make my ladybirds climb up the wall. So they are two layered. They are punched out you know stamped and punched out and this is just one of my infamous fat bottom boxes so I'm going to make it again for you so the paper is the bloom where you're planted sweet um I don't remember what's on the other side of that but that's where the brick came from and I decided I'd go with wooden planks just to see if I get the same effect I don't know six by 12 inches 15 and a quarter by 30 and a half centimeters and on the long side score it at two and seven eighths of an inch, five and three quarters, eight and five eighths, <clears throat> excuse me, and eleven and a half inches, which in metric is seven, fourteen, twenty-one and twenty-eight. And then you turn it to the side and score it at two inches, five centimetres. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to look quite so cute on, I don't know, planks. Would that be a, like a... a wood house or a shed there you go that's what that's what we would have a shed um I, is it gonna look as cute i don't know i just couldn't resist and i love these bags so the first time i made them was probably 2013 or maybe 2014 when i first joined and um made the fat bottom box for my boys i was giving them something probably putting treats inside these hold so much and i've made dozens well lots of variations since and you always love them okay so that's the bottom this is the top so I'm going to take a tiny little bit off the top and then angle very slightly to cut off a bit at the bottom or to cut that little wedge out if you haven't seen this box before that's it and then I'm going to cut one two and three Grab my tear and tape. Currently rediscovered my love for Tombow. I was never a wet glue kind of girl. Never used it. I was always dry glue because, you know, I'm messy. But I've rediscovered it. And tear and tape probably will always be my first love. Just hold in the sides and then the back. Probably will always be my first love. But yeah, Tombow starting to use it a lot more than I used to so um, let me know which is your favorite adhesive or glue okay so that's that folded it in oh why have I got a loose bit there oh I don't look look I see I'm going to use my look liquid glue now because I've got a wibbly tab going on <laughs> that's just a little bit of glue in there to hold that down there we go no problem so yeah let me know which um which is your favourite glue and why? Because, you know, you might persuade me. Right, so it's just a nice square. And then if you push in on two sides, two opposite sides, and then grab and just use your fingers because this paper, our paper is such good quality, it will hold its shape, but you can still manipulate it a bit. And you get this lovely, lovely shape. So I'm going to find my, here's my linen thread. And I'm just going to, look, it's all curly, so I'm just going to get my thumbnail, or a bone folder would work, and just stretch it. It's like the opposite of curling ribbon. I want to straighten it. There we go. So I'm going to grip to close it, and I'm going to wrap around my twine three times. Then I know this box isn't popping open. And then I can tie a little bow on the front <sighs> and it's not going to open. So there we go, it was a little bit, little bit long, was a little bit enthusiastic, but that's okay. Right, so that's the box made. Now let's stamp some ladybirds or ladybugs, whatever you want to call them. They are technically beetles. Well, they are beetles, not technically, but they are beetles, so anyway. 
Right, so I need the body, I need the wings, and I need the spots. And you know what, when I did this, oh, and I need some words as well. Um, you can bug me anytime, because I just think that's so funny. Um, when I did this the other day, I thought, oh, I need to do such and such first. I can't remember where, whether it was the spots or the wings first, but I don't know if I remember. I possibly need a bigger block for that to be able to see through a bit better. Just so I can see through it. And then a long one here. So what I'm going to look at is how this punches out. Okay, so my ladybird body needs to go that way around. And I'm going to go with Memento because I like this as a uh, rather nice rich black. I have one of those and then I'm going to leave a gap because it's going to punch out wings and put another one there and I'm going to go spots first so which way around am I going to need my spots they're going to go that way oh apparently I've got ink everywhere and where am I going to do the other one I'll have to do it down this end and then my real red go over the top and hope that lined up. It did pretty good. That's not bad, was it? Bravo. And then, oh, I forgot to do it. Let's get the memento back out again. You can bug me anytime. I love that. You can bug me anytime. I'm just putting this in the bottom corner and I'm going to cut that by hand. So let's get this before I make myself any more inky than I already am. I'm just going to get a dead hole wipe. Oh, I bought these off Amazon the other day. Dirt cheap. Anybody else notice that dead hole wipes have gone rocketed in price over the last two years? Found a bargain, didn't I? <laughs> so I bought it. Right, let's punch these ladybirds out. One and two. Don't need those bits. And then the wings. I quite like that these have a little white border. I did um, some swap cards for my team. Oh, I need that one a little bit there as well. Um, yeah, we did a postal swap not that long ago. And um, I did the ladybirds for them too. But I put the black matte dots um, for the spots on the ladybirds' wings instead of stamping. There we go, a little flag tail there. And let's start a. Oh, I don't need that one. Do need that, do need that, and that. Right, mini glue dots. So I'm going to go behind the wing, but sort of in the top corner of both of them. <laughs> They're so cute. I love them. Oh, love them even more because I can punch them. But I love the ladybirds. They're just so sweet. So... Two dimensionals on each of them. So kind of behind the head and the body. And one there. Oops. One there. Bit, oh, that'll do. <laughs> then, then I'm going to put the edge of a dimensional. I 
and get hold of it behind the words and flag tail it a little bit across there. That I just think is so cute. Oh, love it. So one going up a brick wall, one going up a shed, or two, <laughs> two going up a brick wall and two going up a shed or a summer house or, you know, if you have a timber framed house, that's for you. I think this one is a little bit more fun, but I love them both. I just love those ladybirds. They are so cute. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and allowing me to indulge myself and my own personal amusement by the fact that I've done that. But thank you for joining me. Hope to see you very soon. Bye.